We all know Maya is a professional 3D animation, modeling, simulation, and rendering tool set. Designed and created for realistic characters, blockbuster worthy effects, and some amazing VFX and animation tools. And today, the folks at Autodesk are making Maya more accessible to everyone with a brand new Maya Creative. Maya Creative is a semi-stripped version of Maya which offers a powerful modeling, animation, rigging and rendering set of tools for film, games and also television. This includes Maya's full industry standard creative toolset, high entry to modeling, UV, look dev and texturing. With access to motion graphics set of tools, animation deformation, camera sequencing, rendering and the entire imaging tools to help you assemble your data and scenes together. Maya Creative also offers Arnold to meet your rendering needs and some on-demand tools that you need for full-length VFX and animation workflow. The folks at Autodesk have just announced this and it looks super interesting. And if you simply take a look at the link in the description, it's going to bring you right here where you can see everything. And like we mentioned, this offers all the tools for making your animation, modeling and also rendering. Now something which you need to keep in mind is you are not going to be paying the huge amount of money that you pay when getting Maya as a full-blown tool, but what you'll be paying is a lot less for what you will be getting and to actually explain that let's go ahead and take a look at comparing what you get with the default version of Maya which is Maya full standalone vanilla versus what you'll be getting with Maya creative so every single thing that you would need for your modeling is available except paint effects this is something that I don't think lots of people actually work with of course it might be making sense in certain times but currently lots of people don't work with paint effect and I don't think you're losing in this category Moving forward, the UV and texturing workflow comes with everything except the Adobe Substance integration, which at the same time, lots of people do not work with this. And I think these are fancy stuff that are currently integrated into Maya that lots of people don't actually use. And in terms of animation and rigging, you have every single thing you need for animation. And going all the way down for the motion graphic tools, you have your entire mesh set of tools, your 3D type workflow, your SVG, everything you need is available. Rendering is giving you every single thing except the Maya Tune shader, which you can of course substitute with other tune shaders and for sure you don't have your vector renderer as well which at the same time like i mentioned with the previous tools most people don't actually use now for the dynamics and effects is where you might have to trade off a lot of things because right now for bifrost you can only do a procedural effect read only which i believe a, a fraction of people would actually need so if you're into dynamics and effects you might probably want to you know skip this now one which i think they should have sort of added is the x gen so x gen and also the interactive grooming tools i really wish that these were added at the same time and here you know the end particles the bullet physics these are very powerful tools that i sort of felt that they should have added but it's all good for the price that we are going to be seeing all the way down you get to see that mail scripting is available python scripting is good the pi site is good and we also have the custom ui and proprietary tools which is super nice to see that we have all that there in terms of data and scene management you have everything you know like literally everything the only thing you're not getting is the Unreal Live link. I still don't think that lots of people do use this, but if you're thinking about getting Maya and you're very concerned about getting a live link, instead of binging on this particular one, we've already talked about a tool that can do a quick real-time live link thing with Unreal Engine. So you might want to consider checking that one out because it's super great. I mean, if this is the trade-off that you're considering, then this isn't a problem at all. And just one more, which I think might just be a little bit of a shaker, it is currently not supported for Linux. But minus that, you have everything you need. Now let's talk about the pricing, because this is the part I believe lots of misconception would be. So if we simply go right here, let's take a look at that, okay. So if we simply go right here, where you get to see the flex, and for those who have no idea, the folks at Autodesk did mention that you'll be able to get this via flex so flex is a token service that they do have that can allow you get these tools and yes you can get it via flex which is also very very nice so right here you can see that it says you you need to purchase things like tokens to get it and when you go over to the media and entertainment section you will notice that we have the maya creative so the default maya do cost six tokens per day and you know flame cost 18 you know industry stuff but we're looking at freelancers which means that you probably don't have the budget like a studio or maybe you're in the studio and you don't have a budget like a big studio so they're looking at one token per day if we go over to where we see the tokens you get to see that six tokens cost you 18 dollars per day and to actually measure this up if you scroll all the way down you get to find tools like the fusion 360 which is one token and one token is actually three dollars per day so think about all of the things that you'll be getting from modeling animation rigging rendering all of these things motion graphics look devs texturing all 
all of the things that you need your camera sequencing your looks and development stuff like your lightings everything you'll be getting and you just have to pay three dollars to own this for an entire day so when you get to do the calculation it starts making a lot of sense so for example let's say you want to own this for an entire month so an entire month is going to be like 30 days so you're going to pay like three dollars times 30 and you're paying only 90 dollars to own this for an entire month and the beautiful part about this is you only pay when you get to use it and if you're a student or an instructor for sure you already know that you can get maya totally for free and this is now making it even more accessible after grad school to work with Maya, build that portfolio and get that job that you're looking for. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.